Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and we're going to be taking a look at a new game called Foundry. Foundry is a factory game in a voxel world. Sounds freaking dope. That's all I need. Factory game, voxel world, you got me. Um, it is not on Steam. It is on itch.io for $17.50. I will leave a link in the description. Let's start a new game. All right, random seed. One, two, three. It looks good to me. Start a new game. All right, so yeah, I played this for about a half hour so far, and the game really seems like a lot of fun. Uh, so we're going to be trying it out, and um, I hope you guys are interested in it. You know, let me know in the comments. Uh, with this, Yeah, that's all information database. Okay, so the first... Ooh, look at this. I'm in a forest. Okay, so the first thing they want me to do... I, I love that it has tasks, by the way. Um, oh, look at this. So there's a forest, and then there's a forest with purple trees. Okay. We need to mine 150 xenoferrite and 150... Technum, okay? You can find this stuff on the map. Uh, that's the Technum behind me. And right here is the Xenoferrite. Now, you can mine these little chunks right here, but you only get one at a time. And basically, those chunks are for automation. So you don't do that. You mine these these big ones up top. All right, so we're going to go ahead and mine all of these. Get our 150 Xenoferrite. It will not take us long. This game really, really reminds me of a 3D um, Factorio in a voxel world and that is a win 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 okay like <laughs> i love voxel worlds i love 3d and i love absolutely love factoria all right so let's go ahead and mine the tectum okay and then we're gonna have to get biomass can we do trees for biomass oh we can't wow only 15 biomass huh not a lot for that kind of for that big of a tree right i'm gonna grab a little bit more as well all right so now it wants me to make a furnace so I'm going to come back over here to the Xeno Ferry and kind of start building my setup around this chunk of Xeno Ferry right here. Uh, as a matter of fact, I wonder what you get for for this. Oh, it's just dirt. Okay. So it makes sense. So we're going, to go, we're going to go ahead and do this. Kind of clear this out a little bit. And then we are going to make a primitive furnace. Okay. So I'll make the primitive furnace, primitive furnace over here. Uh, if you press F2, it gives you detailed information. Um, default, I, I changed my, my settings, so, um, alright, so in order to craft, we need the C button for the craft, we've got structures, components, handhelds, metallurgy, and buildings, I'm gonna go ahead and put my drill, oh, drill's already number one, okay, cool, alright, so we're gonna go to structures, and primitive furnace is right there, so we're crafting it, and then we're going to, alright, so, I wonder if there's an easier way to put this down, um, uh, B, all right, again, I already changed that, so yeah, there's... Maybe I could right-click. Yeah, there you go, you right-click it. All right, you right-click it out of your inventory. Now we have a primitive furnace with no power. It's got shutdown, reset task, manage inventory, and configure primitive furnace. Now we need to make 40 xenoferrite plates and 20 tectum rods, okay? So we're going to go to manage inventory. I don't know if you could do this automatically. Here, let's try. We're gonna go with the plates first, and then we're gonna hit this little thing that should put everything in there we need. No, okay, so it only put the zerate in there. Um, in order to put the fuel in there, I think you have to do it manually. All right, you can't right click it or double click it. Okay, you can shift click it in there. All right, cool. All right, so that's gonna make the plates. Once we have 40 of those, we'll be good to go. I'm gonna come over here and dig out a little bit more. By the way, I set my B key to the bar. If you look at my hot bar, I have like three separate hot bars, which is pretty cool. That is not the default. The default to get in your inventory, I think is B. I, I put it to tab and tab is the one that, you know, moves your hot bar around um, if you want to keep it that way. I, I chose not to. Well, I wasn't paying attention. I made way more plates than I need. So I'm going to reset task. Once you reset task, it automatically takes everything out, including the biomass. Yes, it does. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is we got to make the technium rods or tech, techum, tech, technum, technum rods. And then we hit that little arrow key. It'll put everything I need in there. Uh, apparently, wait, did I put the fuel in there or did I never? Oh, I never took the fuel. Okay, so resetting the task does not take the fuel out. Okay, that's interesting. I'll have to keep that in mind. I'm going to go ahead and grab some more biofuel while I wait for that stuff to craft up. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. And we'll do this. Okay, that should be just about done with my 20 plates. They don't take that long. Take that tree down. All right. Uh, well, we're almost there. 15. This game, uh, 
is a little bit better than I thought it was going to be. When I when I first saw it, I was like, you know, it looks pretty cool. Uh, the fact that it was on itch.io, I'm like, well, maybe it's not really ready. And they said it's like, you know, it's, it's not coming to Steam like like right away. They're, they want it to be really polished. The game's pretty freaking dope so far. I'm having a good time with it. Now, granted, I've only played it for about a half hour, so take that with a grain of salt. But that's what I got going on. All right, so we now need to craft the building blocks. And those are right here. And I think they said if you shift like that. Yep, if you shift uh, click, it'll make as many as you can, uh, which I don't want to do. But I think there's a way to make five at a, like five at a time. Yeah, you can cancel them too. Cool. So we're going to put those right there. Uh, building parts and energy. All right, you can go ahead and read that if you want. Uh, basically what it's saying is there's low voltage and high voltage. Low voltage um, will, these blocks will take low voltage along the path and power everything. But uh, there's going to be machinery that's going to require higher voltage than that. All right, so we they want us to do this right by this, so that's cool. Uh, let's do this four by five. Let's do four by five this way. All right, there we go. So now they want us to make a drone miner. Oh, freaking hell yeah, drone miner for days. Oh my god, I'm freaking hyped. All right, so for the drone miner, um, well, apparently we already have everything. Drone miner. See, I made extra stuff by mistake, but it turned out to work out for me, so that's cool. Next thing we're going to have to make is a biomass thing. Uh, we're going to electric components and technum, technium rods. So while I'm waiting for this thing to... Wait, did I make like a bunch of these? No. Well, okay, so what it was doing there was... It, it's the same thing as Factorio. When it needs things, it automatically makes them. Like this thing needed um, elect electronic components and machinery parts. So it automatically made them. That is phenomenal. Loved it in Factorio. Love it even more here. Uh, so let's come in here and let's configure this to make the rods. And we'll have that make some rods in the meantime. And then right here, I don't know which way I want this to face. Uh, hmm. Cycle tablet mode. I don't know what the hell that tablet mode thing is. Uh, 50, 56 mineable or, oh. Okay, cool. Anyway, um, take item for block toggle flash. Oh, there's a flash. It rotate is R. And there we go. So now I got this bad boy. I'm going to put down some more of these blocks if I can. Uh, so you can't use it. Oh, I got zero. Okay. So it stays up there even though it's zero. Right click to get it off there. Okay, cool. Alright, so let's end that task. And let's build the biomass generator. Do I have what I need for it? Yes, I do. Biomass generator. So right here it's making all of the... You can see the components right there. There's wire... It's making the copper or the wire coil to make the electrical components, and it's going to make the machine parts as well. And there's my bio generator. Okay. And I guess I'll just put that right here. I don't really know if there's a better place to put it. Uh, now we need to craft an assembler. Craft two. Is that craft two loaders? Uh, craft 20 conveyors. Oh boy. Build an assembler on the foundation. Okay. Uh, assembler. We do not have what we need for that. Well, I've got everything made, and now I'm going to put the assembler down. So let's go ahead and do that now. Assembler, oh boy, that's huge. Uses conveyors and loaders to transport goods around the factory. See example set up below. Machine, miner, output, loader, the belt. Okay, so the loaders take things in and out of machines and put them on belts, got it. Um, I'll look at this a little bit more closely later. I kinda wanna put this thing down. Uh, this thing's freaking huge. I have to put that on it. Oh, I don't have to. All right, so it's asking me to put it on the foundation, so I will. But the thing is, it's a pretty big thing. I, I think I want to maybe expand the foundation um, a little bit more before I put that down. So, yeah, let's uh, let's expand that foundation a little bit more. How do I cancel this? Just escape. Uh, okay. There, got it. All right, so I'm going to make some more plates. And I'm going to uh, expand this foundation uh, so I have a room for this thing. It's pretty it's pretty freaking big. All right, I went ahead and put down the assembler. And none of this stuff has power. And I was like, the game's not telling me to power this stuff up and use it. I'm just going to use it anyway. <clears throat> so I went ahead and I hit this little button right here, which puts all of my bio biomass. Is it called biomass or bio? Yeah, biomass in there for fuel. And we're going to go ahead and start this. And then my little drones are going to come out. Check this out. Any second now, there they go. Now, does this thing have a... Alright, so this thing has an inventory, but it's a very small inventory. So we gotta uh, take that stuff out of there. Like, continuously. 
Wow, they're doing four at a time. Awesome. Drone number one. Uh, all right, so there's a bunch of drones charging. I could probably save some power by shutting them down. It doesn't seem like I can, I can shut them down, but that's what they're gathering. Wow, this thing's going to fill up and fill up quick. I should probably just shut this down now. Yeah, I've got plenty. Let's go ahead and shut it down. Uh, hold on. There we go. Alright, so I, I, it'd be nice if I could shut the drones down individually so I don't have to use them all, but that's okay. It's good like that. Alright, so let's come over to this thing. Alright, and this thing will allow us to craft stuff that we need, but I don't know what we need yet. Well, actually, I do know what we need. We need... Oh, you know what I need? I need to go over here and make another freaking um, drone thingy to be mining the tech, tech, technum. All right, so let's just keep this simple. Um, there's two things I want to automate. I want to automate right now the building blocks, and I want to automate the conveyor belts, okay? Now, this can only do one thing. It's going to be very limited right now, and uh, we'll just see what we can do here. Uh, first of all, we're going to take the loader, and we're going to put it right like that yeah uh what if we could do the loader yeah let's do the loader in the back this might be even better so with the loader there and then we'll put the other loader uh i don't know if it really matters where it goes put it right there i've placed stuff already and i've picked it up there's a demolish mode you could use with the z key and um you get everything back so no harm no foul all right so we're gonna do this you got to put this underneath the loader okay and if you put it right there, it won't do anything. You need to put it underneath. Okay? So there you go. Very, very cool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to this thing. And we're going to need... There's only one thing we can make... Or two things we can make. Um, we can make... Where are they? We can make either the uh, plates or the rods. Um, I think we need more plates and rods. So I'll have this thing make the plates. And yeah, it's getting power from this. And it's getting ores from this. So since we're making plates there, we'll come over here and make the rods. Okay, so now that's doing its thing. It's got plenty of fuel. This is doing its thing. It's got plenty of fuel. And once I get both of those things, I can go ahead and turn them into blocks. And then once I can put down more blocks, I can put down more assemblers. Once I put down more assemblers, I can take the things I've already got and kind of combine them into more stuff. Um, I mean, this is the way these things go. So I'm going to go ahead and take all of those. And we are going to take all of these. And then we're going to go ahead and make as much of this as we can. And we should be good to go. Alright, 13. We're going to have a lot of building blocks this time. That's good. So there we go. And then we're going to expand this out this way. Alright. And, oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> this is going to take a little bit of time. I mined out all the big chunks of the Technum. So I think we're going to switch gears a little bit here. Instead of automating this stuff, we're just going to get an, uh, a drone miner set up on the Technum, which is really important. So drone miner here. Um, I don't know if you need to put the drone miner on, um, on plate foundations or whatever, but we're going to find out because I need to get one up here and I need to get it up like right away. I should have put this up before I started going crazy with the plates over there, but that's okay. I did notice it uh, quickly enough. I did not mean to do that. I meant to get rid of the... Oh, I guess you can't get rid of those. It's kind of weird. All right, I'm going to leave it the way it is. Uh, let's just go ahead and see if this is done. It is. And you can put it down. Boom. It's not going to have any power. That's why you put it on plates. Um, and yeah, okay. So, yeah, that, okay. Well, you know what? This will give me a chance to show you the demolish mode. All right, so you press Z. You hold down left mouse button and demolish mode. But you do get the item back. So, we are going to have to put this down on some building blocks. Which is fine. Okay, like that. Is that big enough? Probably not. Uh, right click. Oh, it is. Okay, cool. Panel right there. That's great. Now we just need the biofuel thingy. All right, there we go. So this stuff's relatively cheap. So you can like get one of these. You can get one of these like mining setups done pretty well. Now I can just mine this by hand, but I'm only gonna get like one at a time, right? It's just awful. So if you don't have any more chunks left, you want to make sure you want to make sure you have a miner up on here before you like get rid of all the chunks, uh, which I almost didn't accomplish, but you know I got it done. All right, so do that, and there we go, and that should be good. That should be sh they should be coming out. There they go. Now they don't have anywhere to put this stuff, unfortunately. Uh, so I think there's a chest I can make. Yeah, crate. 
So we're going to need the plates, and then we're going to make a crate. And we're going to put it over there. Okay, so this is, uh, you know, I'm, I'm learning. I am learning. That's for damn sure. All right, so we're going to need some plates here. So we'll just grab those. And see, make one crate. And then I think we're also going to need something to put them into the crates. I think we're going to need one of those loader thingies, probably. And we'll also put this down right there. And we're going to need one of these. Yeah, this stuff's relatively inexpensive, so that's nice. We need some of these. And this will allow us to get our, you know, uh, get our, what do you call it? Uh, I forgot the name of it. The, not the xenoferrite, but the, this stuff. Can you, can I point at it? There we go. I want to know what it's called. Uh, Technum. I was, I'm having trouble with that Technum, but I got it. So one, one thing I do like about this game is some people are having problems with, um, uh, space games or games that take, take place on other planets where they don't look like other planets. This does look like another planet. It doesn't have copper and iron. It has technum and xenoferrite, which is pretty... I mean, ferrite's kind of iron, but it's xeno. So, all right, we're going to put this right here. And then can I just put the thing underneath it? Uh, looks like I can. Does that work? I can't, that doesn't work, right? All right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to set up our first real production line. Okay, so I've got a lot of stuff crafted here. I've got a bunch of assemblers. I've got all this stuff going on. I guess we'll put the assemblers down first. And we want the panels facing forward. All the fun will happen in the back. <laughs> Get it? Uh, all right, so... And they've also got to be somewhat f kind of... Man, these things take up a lot of freaking room. Uh, you know what? That'll probably be okay there. And we can put them side by side. And I'm going to need one for the plates, one for the rods, one for the flooring, and one for the belts. Oh, boy. We don't have enough room. Do I have any more flooring pieces? Um, I do. I got a few more. Actually, that might just be enough to put down another one. Maybe. We'll see. It's not going to be pretty, but we just got to get stuff, you know, going. Oh, I only have three. Okay. So I'm going to need one for the plate, one for the rods, one for the belts, and one for the floor. Yep, that's just the way it is. Just the way it is. What am I missing from this stuff? Oh, the plates. Okay, fair enough. All right, so while that's doing its thing, we're going to come over here and we'll set up the plates first. All right, so what I got back here is I've got the loader or unloader. I keep left-clicking. You're supposed to right-click. Um, I'll put it back here just to give a little bit more room. Okay, and then we put down some of these going this way. And I guess we'll do the plates on the first one. Hmm, sounds good to me. Alright, and there's the... Oh, that, so we need to put down the loader. Now it's properly a loader. Alright, loader, right click. There we go. Oh, so you can't put it down after you've put the other, the other item down. That's interesting. Alright, so we're going to pick that up. And then we're going to put down the loader properly. Oh, because I didn't need it where it was. Okay, fair enough. Looks good to me, I guess. Uh, and then we're going to come over here, and we are going to set this up as plates. And this will be more of a permanent thing. It's not going to be permanent, permanent, but it's going to be permanent for a bit. And there we go. All right, beautiful. Now, the other thing we're going to need is rods. Oh, boy, oh, boy. This is going to be a pain in the ass. Um, all right, so... We're going to go ahead and put one of these down right here. And then we are going to put down a belt. I don't know how this is going to work going onto the ground. It's not. Can it float? Oh, it can float. So should I just leave it floating? Eh, I really don't like it floating. Um, let me see if I can make a... Uh, oh, V, analyzer, pointed terrain. Oh, cool. Didn't know about this. Um, point of terrain, vegetation. Oh, I'm putting stuff down by accident. Okay. Let's go ahead and see. Pick that up. Come over here. Um, we'll pick that up. And then we'll go and build one of these. 
Uh-huh. Mode. Oh, some items have multiple sub modes. For example, building blocks or power lines. Uh, for the building blocks, you can switch if you want to drag floors or walls for power lines. You can switch. Okay. All right. So hold right. Um, oh, slope down, slope up. All right, cool. Like it. So we'll go ahead and slope that down. And it's going the wrong way. Um, is there a way for me to change that? All right, that was easy enough. I just had to rotate it. Piece of cake. All right, so you will... Can I, I should be able to hold this down and go as far as we can. And that is as far as... We, please tell me they're all going the right way. Okay, they are. Thank goodness. I was getting nervous there for a minute. All right, so we're going to need more of these, obviously. And for that, we're going to need plates and machinery parts. Machinery parts are plates. Okay, so it's all plates. All right, cool. Let's make a bunch of these freaking things and get these... Um, Get those uh, pole thingies over here. They're not poles. What are they called? Get those titanium or technium, technum rods over here. So one thing I hope they do with this game, and I haven't like um, dug too deeply into like a roadmap or what they have planned for the future, but one thing I would really like to see in this game is some kind of base defense. Um, I want like enemies to attack the base, you know, uh, and give us like. I want enemies to attack the base and also give us the ability to change the difficulty of it because like a lot of times you play these games and things are attacking your base but you, you don't know enough about the game to defend properly so it's too difficult or they make it easy so you could figure out how to defend your base but then it gets too easy once you know how to do it so we really need a difficulty slider um, really badly uh, you know so that would be awesome. And I really want a, a way, like, I want to have to defend the base. One of the things that turned me off, like, had me stop playing fact, uh, Satisfactory, was the fact that there was no, like, um, enemies attacking your base. Now, uh, I, I don't know. I think, that, I know they added, like, some kind of, like, enemy that would attack you, uh, you know, eventually. But those were, like, enemies out in the world. It wasn't like you had to defend your base. I mean, let's, let's just call it the way it is. Factorio did it the best, you know? Um, you were messing up the environment, so monsters were coming in to, to take you out because of that. It was perfect. It really was. Uh, and I want something like that here. So I'm going to look into it and see. And I really, really hope that they have plans for that um, in the future. It doesn't have to be now. You know, just eventually. Oh, that's weird. I wonder why that didn't, like, turn. It's supposed to turn. Let me put that in last. There we go. Uh, yeah, okay, there we go. Got it. Nailed it. Alright, so these are going to go into this one right here. And... Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, let's do this. And like so. And then we just bring the belt down like this. And we've got our first... We've got our first uh, assembly line going here. Alright guys, it took some getting used to, but I think I have a production line here that's going to be pretty sweet, at least in the in the beginning, and let me run you through it. Uh, first of all, these chests right here, these crates, are personal crates. As far as I know, you can't like put stuff in and out of this automatically. Um, in order to put stuff in and, out, and in and out automatically, you need logistics crates. Okay, we'll get into that in a minute. But, this is what i got going on here. We've got the droid miner, droid auto miner thingy. Um, actually, I want to know what this is called. Not droid. Uh, droid miner. Yeah. We got the droid miner here outputting two sets of ore. This is the Xeno ferrite ore. Okay. One line is going into this one. One line is coming over here and going into this one. Now, this one and this one are making plates. Um, in order to make uh, building blocks, yes, building blocks, you need twice as many plates as you do rods. Okay. So that's why I've got two of these making plates. And there's an output line and another output line, okay? Now, these two output lines meet on the same belt, okay? There might be a problem later, but for now, it'll work. So, they meet on the same belt, okay? Now, this one right here is making rods, okay? The We got the, um... Ah, uh, that freaking crazy metal. I can't think of the damn name of it ever. Uh, the blue stuff. Yeah, the Technum Ore uh, is coming in from the Technum Mine over there. Inputting it to here, and this is outputting rods. And all the rods and the plates are inputting in here, and this is making the building blocks. Okay, now I'm gonna kind of show you how the how this thing right here works, the uh, logistics container. Although I'm not really sure where I would like to put it. Um, I, I guess I'll just put it here for now. I'm gonna move this eventually. I'm just putting it here for now so you can see how it works. 
okay? So this is a um, this is a storage container, okay? And you could set it to only hold so much stuff. Like if I only wanted to hold one stack, we lock all the other ones, which is good. And then I will take this and, well, no, I'm not gonna take that. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put that right there. Then I'm gonna put a belt right here and this is getting a little claustrophobic. I, I totally forgot that these um, intake and output containers take two blocks. So this is not gonna work right here. All right, well, let's build this first then. Uh, that could go right there. Okay. And then the output thing, I, you know, I could probably just put it right here for now. Yeah, we'll just put it right here for now. Just, just so you guys can see how it works. Uh, these factory games all come with their own rules and it's gonna take me some getting used to. I've recorded about, I don't know, 40 minutes of footage today that I had to delete because it was all a cluster F. Uh, so, you know, we'll, we'll get along, we'll get along. All right, so that's the belt and then that's the input. And then you, my friend, can go this way. You can go this way and this way. And you can go that way. Now you set this to output. And what it'll do is it'll take all of the building blocks and it'll store it in the chest for us. And it even shows you there. You don't even have to like open it up. You can see exactly what's in there. All right, so that's our first uh, production line. We now have building blocks uh, being, you know, being auto built, which is great because I'm going to put building blocks freaking everywhere. As a matter of fact, you know what? Oh, this opened up. Oh, that's right, because I picked it up. All right, we're going to leave that open, and I just want as many building blocks as I can possibly get, because I just want to put building blocks everywhere, all right? I'm also going to double up the building blocks down here, because I want this to be the proper level of the factory. So anywhere where it dips down here, this is all going to be building blocks. So guys, if you want to see more of this game, and I hope you do, because it seems like a pretty dope game, uh, let me know in the comment section, please. Make sure you like the video, tell your friends, all that good stuff. I also noticed that about half of the people watching my videos are not yet subscribed, and I get it. Um, but it really means a lot for me to, for you to subscribe to me. It really helps with the algorithm, helps my channel grow. So I hope today I've earned your subscription, and if not, I'll get you next time. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and until then, take it easy.